violent protest rocks Kano as 17 year old boy died in police custody. There was pandemonium on Monday morning as the people of Kano took to the streets protesting violently against the alleged killing of a 17 year old boy, Sofulahi. Sofulahi of Kufa Mata Quarters was said to have been arrested two days ago by the police while he was sleeping at his family house. Reports have it that despite protests by the people of the community that he was never known for any criminal tendencies, he remained in police custody where he allegedly gave up the ghost. Our correspondents reliably gathered that Saufulai had been released on bail only for the police to rearrest and detain him again, where he was allegedly tortured to death. The police brought his corpse to the family house this morning, Monday, a development which angered the people to take to the streets and they started making bonfires in protest. Thank you for listening to this news. That is the problem of our Nigerian police, my viewers. That is a problem. They, will, they, 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 they don't have any, they don't have procedures in the Nigerian police. Procedures of arrest. Seriously, our Nigerian police are very, very confused. Look at the young boy. Eh? After arresting him, releasing him, they still went back to arrest him again. You can see that we are confused. They are confused. Now, if these boys decide to take it, take up this protest to put us to the other other level, they will say that Nigerians have started. They will say that the Northerners have started. But unknown to them that they are the one that first started. Now you just tell me. You just tell me. What has what is the scene of this young boy that made the Nigerian police to torture him to torture him to death? What is his crime? Now the policemen that tortured him to death, all of them will now take their hands off the case. Before you know it, when you go to the station now, you see that the case of this young man has been robbed off. They will all start denying not touching the young boy. You understand? That is the attitude of a Nigerian police. That is the attitude of a Nigerian police. I've never seen a frustrated force as a Nigerian police. I've never seen a, con a confused force as a Nigerian police. That is why I can never and will never vouch for our Nigerian police force. See what is happening now. You see? See what is happening. See the atrocities a unit in the Nigerian police has just caused. They are the, it is this unit in the Nigerian police that is causing this, this heavy protest that is going on in the whole world and not only in Nigeria. And not only in Nigeria. You see? You see? And instead of the president to take an immediate action, he keeps beating around the bush. He keeps deceiving himself. Because he doesn't want to, he doesn't, he doesn't want to place an end to the Nigerian police force. Nobody is saying is, is asking him to place an end to the to the Nigerian police force. But he should do what is right by putting a proper end, a complete end to the existence of these SARS officers. They should stop their end. They should stop their existence. They should make sure that they no longer exist. Because all these things they are doing, there is no sign of repentance in it. No single sign of repentance. Huh? Look at the first warning given to these um, hoodlums called um, Special anti robbery Squad was when they committed one atrocities in Oku State. They called them to order, they warned them 
In fact, they have to they have to um, suspend the the, the anti-robbery squad uh, uh, functioning in other states, believing that the other ones in other states will learn from the mis from the mistake of the ones in other states. You won't believe that this hoodlums called um, uh, special anti-robbery squad instead of them changing, they, they advanced and became more tough. You see that? So that is the atrocities. That is the atrocities. So one can no longer trust them. Mm -hmm. One can no longer trust them. You can imagine. See, see how, see how they, 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 they keep attacking people, killing people. What has this, what has this innocent uh, 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 young boy done to them to deserve this kind of punishment? What has he done? What has he done? They are the ones that arrested him. They are still the ones that tortured him. Torturing is different, but over torturing till the young man died. Okay. After he died, why didn't they keep him in the station? Why not bringing his corpse to, 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 to the parents? My viewers, I am speaking to the parents directly right now that they should take it up with, the, with that police for the whole police force in that unit, in that state, in that community, in that area. All of them. They should take it up with them. They should not let them go. They must all pay. The protest should be different. But they should take up the case. The family of this deceased boy should take up the case with those police officers. They will should all go to the courts because those police officers must pay for all these things that they have done to this young man. It is either they dismiss them from service or they pay. They find them, find them, millions of naira. They don't pay for their offense, for what they are doing. It's an offense, complete offense. All right. So, uh, my viewers, um, with all this that you have seen, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Please, what's your take? What's your observation? Deem it fit to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.